Amen. Amen. God is good. God is good. Y'all supposed to say all the time. You know he's good all the time. Amen. God has blessed us. He has met every one of our needs. And the reason why I know is because you are standing in this seat today. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. God is my refuge and strength. God is my salvation. He is my hope. He is my healer. He is my lawyer. He is my doctor. God is my friend. Oh, ain't nobody happy and excited up in here, but Reverend Andrews, I'm the only one that's got to praise this morning for the God of my hope. Oh, you ain't talking. Y'all ain't talking. I'm, 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 I'm excited to be here today. I'm glad to be alive. I thank God for the food on my table. I thank God for a glass of cold water. I thank God for the bread I sleep in. Oh, I drive the gas I get. I thank God for the job. Like y'all, y'all listen. I thank God for the air I breathe. Y'all, y'all ain't talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my sight might be a little dim. My walk might be a little slow. My joints may hurt a little bit. But I'm glad in this house. I'm happy in the Lord of God Almighty. And if you don't have
We're going to, from our, we are, we're going to continue the service with our, our scripture coming from uh, Deuteronomy 4, verse 39 through 40. Deuteronomy 4, verse 39 through 40. If you have your Bibles, please stand with me. And uh, we say your Bibles with this book, but if you have a, a cell phone, a, a smartphone, an a, a iPad, or whatever you have, or whatever you carry your Bible on, please open that up. When you have it, please say amen. amen. We are a chosen nation, you know that, right? We are a chosen people. So we should always honor and bless the Father. I have a scripture 39, verse 39 and through 40. 39 says this, Know that from this day, and keep considering it in thy heart, that the Lord, he is God in heaven above, and up on the earth beneath. There is none else that thou, thou, thou shalt keep that so his statute and his commandment, which I command this thee this day, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy days upon the earth, which the Lord thy God giveth thee forever. And forever is eternal, eternal past, present, and future. With you walk with the Father. I thank you, and may you, have, you may have this seat. May God have the best of you here and make a big word. Amen. 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 Our Father, our Lord, our Savior, our Creator, our Sustainer, our Provider. Come on with this morning. I come, oh Father God, before your throne of grace and mercy. Yes, Thanking you, Father God, that you did allow justice to have this way. Yes. Father God, instead, you said grace and mercy yes. to abide with us one more time. Glory and Lord God, not only my baby, but our baby did become our cool and yes. And our sheep did become our face color. Lord, Lord God, for that we say thank you. Lord God, this morning, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, Lord God, let your spirit resonate from heart to heart, mind to mind, pew to pew, foot to foot, hand to hand, and toe to toe. Oh God, touch the pastor this morning, God. Have your way in this place. Oh God, this morning, I'm pleading the blood of Jesus. Because I know the blood still works. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I heard Reverend Andrew say he's grateful for all those little things. Lord God, I'm grateful for those things myself. I'm grateful God right here, right now, in this present moment. Yeah. Lord God, because I got sisters sister that the Lord could have been the only way. So thank you this morning. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That was a question, oh God, that hit my mind this morning when I was coming to church. Yeah. And that question was, yeah. am I coming to church to get something every Sunday? Yeah. Or am I bringing something to you? Yeah. So God, I'm bringing my best praise. Yeah. I'm bringing my praise, God. Yeah. I'm bringing my praise, God. Yeah. Because you work to be praised. Yeah. And I thank you this morning. So let it happen now, God. Let your anointing fill this place. Yeah. Let your glory fill this house. Yeah. That's my prayer, oh God. Touch now. Yeah. Touch the Lord of Free. Touch now, God. Yeah. Touch now, God. Yeah. Touch now, God. Yeah. Touch now, God. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Touch now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. That's my prayer. Yeah. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 amen.
But we are rejoicing this morning that another brother has made it our home. And we want to just reflect on his career this morning and reflect on his praise through song and give you a few of his classics. So sing along with us as we worship.
tell you what, some some people went down in the water and they came up the same. My mama said you went down a dry devil and came up a wet one. But some of us, when we went down in that water, change occurred. Some changed in our heart. Some changed in our walk. Some changed in our talk. And if you're one of those people, I know the road gets long and I know the road gets rough. And over the past few years, we've seen Lee Williams struggle through his sickness. We've seen family members, and some of us have even struggled ourselves. But I tell you what, I'm going to leave you with this, as he says. I can't be
give up. Don't let the hills stop you. Don't let the valleys defeat you. Don't give up. Because we got Jesus working on our behalf.
Secretary of State again. Yeah. Mind. The second thing I found sustained is love 
because I behave. And the third thing is love because of us. Can I, can, I, can I talk about it? See, it's a blessing. We're clothed in our right mind. Huh? I want to help somebody because there are some folks who suffer from a disease called mental illness. And it usually comes from a chemical imbalance <laughs> that affects a person's ability to think morally. And see, when we encounter those folk, Miss Lorella, we must be sensitive with our approach. That's love, y'all. In other words, in other words, if we have the mind of Christ, we can say to that person that God's grace is sufficient. Because love will cover it all. The text says, therefore, be clear-minded. But therefore means we must change the way we think. We must clear our minds from negativity and focus on the love of God who can handle whatever disorder we may have. Love covers our mind when we keep our minds stayed on Him. The Bible says that so a man thinks. Yes. So it's coming to join. I see you in the house today. I'm glad to see you. And in other words, we, we become who we think we are. But the text tells us that our mind must be clear. In other words, we can filter our things when our mind is clear that disturbs our peace. So may I suggest you that when our minds are clear, we will get a better understanding of how to control our thought process. Am I hearing this about it? Because whatever you feed your mind, it will dictate your behavior. Yes, but in spite of all that, yes, love will cover our behavior. Yes. Which is the second thing I found. So to go in the text. Sometime in life, our behavior is determined by what we go through. Sometime in life, our behavior is determined by what we go through. Sometimes we act like what we go through. And other times, what we have been through. But love, comes it all. The text tells us that we must be self-controlled so that we can pray. In other words, we can't come to God in a kind of way. Because the Bible says that his spirit don't dwell in an unclean place. See, how it was to have an effective prayer life, we know. Uh-oh. 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 In order for us to have an effective, oh, in order for us to have an effective prayer life, we must not be double-minded because we will become unstable in all our ways. In other words, when we don't control ourselves, we behave in a manner that's not pleasing to God. But the Bible declares that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I forgive their sins and heal this coronavirus. In other words, love will cover it all. Sometimes our behavior, oh, sometimes our love, teacher, is a direct result of our free will. In other words, we all have the opportunity to take control of our life based on oh, based on the decisions that we make. It's right there. Because love, you will cover it all. And he'll cover us. Which is the third and final thing that I found here in the text. See, it's a good feeling to know that we cover. Yeah, y'all been around, boys. Man, I got you covered. Yeah. See, other times, folk will tell you that I got you covered. Yeah. But what you are covered to a certain extent. But I stopped by today yeah. to let you know that love yeah. covers it all. Yeah. The text tells us, he said, Whoa, all. Yeah. He said, Love each other deeply. Uh-huh. Because love uh-huh. will cover yeah. a multitude. In other words, we should love each other, even in the midst of our nakedness. Because
Because the Bible says we must love others as we love ourselves. I want to put a stick right there and say, you're next. Don't be so easy to expose other folk fault. Because you're supposed to love. And that love cover it all. As I close, as I close this text, as I close this text, you should not be so easy to expose each other fault, but cover each other with love. I would like for us to ponder this point and think about where would we be if God did not send his son Jesus to cover us from our sins. Brothers and sisters, love, he covered the good, the bad, and the ugliness in our lives. The Bible tells us in 1 John 4 and 8 that whoever does not have love does not know God. So as we go and turn into this game called life, let love lead the way because love love will cover us through eternity because love covers it all. Come in, it's just sad. Somebody say in this place right now, say I'm covered. Say I'm covered. Love, it covers us. It covers us when we're lonely. It covers us when we're sad. Yeah. 
loves you, God. No matter what they say, they have no power.
Thank you. 